and welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here welcome i'm mallory girl just subscribe you're here already if you have been watching my videos with the glam light happy hour series you do know that i'm doing a giveaway so since we are doing the chocolate martini palette today you know that the green one is going to be the one that i'm giving away so the dirty martini palette is up for grabs all you have to do is enter in the bonus entries that have been in the previous two videos and there will be one in this video as well so this one is going in the giveaway you're welcome i just have so many green palettes i just felt like i just i just don't even have the space for it really i would love to open it and review it but i just feel like why not do a good deed and give it away so give somebody else the opportunity to try it and you can have one of the happy hour palettes in your own collection so with that being said let's move right along to the chocolate martini palette review so i am absolutely in love with everything chocolate at this point chocolate chocolate like real chocolate the color chocolate club chocolate clothes and this palette is beautiful i'm going to show you some swatches and then we'll talk about the palette out of its casing okay so this is what the palette looks like out of the case super cute it says dark chocolate premium tasty so these are the shades now this one it did swatch this vanilla vodka it did swatch in a surprising way like i was expecting it to swatch more like white shimmer but it was more of like a gold it was weird because it looks like this it looks white but it swatched gold so very interesting i don't hate it it's just something to be noted but i do believe that that's one of the ones that we're going to use today just because i'm just like so interested with it like i think that it's going to be i think that this is going to be our inner corner highlight shade for both eyes tonight but because i'm doing this at night that's why i said tonight just seemed fitting for happy hour. I wish I could have had a chocolate martini. Ooh, that's bad, been bad business. I should have done that, but let's move right along. So I'm gonna try to use all the mattes in the palette today. I'm gonna start with this Irish cream first and see if we can even get it to do anything that I like. Let's see. But I don't like Irish cream at all. I don't like Irish cream at all. It just does not look like anything. I don't like it at all. So let's move on. <laughs> I'm gonna go, let's go into syrup and see if that does anything better. Okay, syrup is a lot better. I actually really like syrup. Oh my gosh, Irish cream was just like so disappointing because I love, I love drinking Irish cream. But that shade was just like not, not where it's at. So I'm just gonna continue to blend this into my crease. Get a good blend. The shades are beautiful. They really are. I just don't like that Irish cream. But it blended together. It looks really, really good, actually. It's really good. Nice transition shade. I love that for us. So let's go ahead and move on to this creme de coco. Creme de coco. What is this? What is that, child? We just gonna use that one. We're gonna use the martini glass one. Oh wow, this. This is magnificent, magnificent. This is looking really, really good right here. I should have used this one. Should have used this one first, I think. This one is really, really nice. It actually is coming off lighter than syrup did, which is kind of weird because it looks darker, right? Or maybe it's just more pigmented. Maybe that's the word that I'm actually looking for. It's more pigmented. So I made it look darker than the other one. The other one just kind of came off kind of like a mauve shade. But this one looks really, really good. This one looks really, really good here. Yeah. Really, really good. I'm into this. Okay, so now let's switch it up a little and go into... Let's switch it up a little and go into Girls Night Out. I feel like that would give me a good like, deepness to this look. That way we can use the dark chocolate on the other side. No, it did not. I don't like, I don't like Girls Night Out either. Girls Night Out, it's, no, I don't like it. So let's move on to dark chocolate. Girls Night Out is way too, way too ashy looking. I'm not really sure what it is about these shades, but they really just don't come off very well. Maybe it's the brush I'm using. Maybe I'll try a different one in a second, but that just was not, I was not expecting that. So 
We're, we're moved on to dark chocolate, which is the deepest shade in the palette. We do have some fallout and that's okay. We're gonna keep moving forward. And today we're gonna do a halo eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring that over here a little bit, deep, deep in this area up right here. And I believe we're actually just gonna do the same look on both sides because that was pretty much all the mattes. I said we were gonna use all the mattes. That was all of them. So, was there one that we missed? Was there one that we missed or was that all of them? Because I said I hated Irish cream. Did we use all night? I remember using these and then these. Maybe we didn't use all night. Maybe I used, yeah, okay. Never mind. We're gonna do something different on the other side. We'll, we'll try these on the other side with the dark chocolate to deepen it up. We'll try all night and bittersweet on this side with the dark chocolate to deepen it up because I know we're gonna need it. I can just tell we're gonna need it. Yes. Mm. Excuse me. Okay, so let's try bittersweet first. We're gonna pack this in our crease. See what it does. I use this one. Did I not? So bittersweet is a very interesting color. It's kind of like a like a brown, but kind of like a dark grayish brown. I don't really know how to describe it to you. It's just like not not what I thought. I guess it's this, which isn't like you know terrible. It's just not like what I thought it would be. Which is actually kind of, I mean, on camera it's not that dark, but here it's looking actually kind of dark, which is really surprising. I was not expecting this out of the shade at all. I mean, look at it. It doesn't look like it would do that at all. This palette is just like, they. it has like transformer shades. Like what is, what is like, what is this? That one is still tricky to me, and then this one, then I don't know what's going on here. But let's go into All Night, see what she does. So All Night is very pink, just very, very pink. Very like mauve type of pink. This palette is just full of those mauve type shades. So like I said, we're gonna have to dip into dark chocolate again, deepen this side up, but. So I'm like, I use two different shades, but the eyes look pretty much the same. So I kind of feel like the mattes, they're just like too similar in this palette. Like there's not really much of a variety. Yeah, that's all I have to say about it. So let's go ahead and like do something to, so we can start using these shimmers. So now that we have our eyes cut, uh, we are just gonna go ahead and do the halo eye like I mentioned before. I really want to hurry up and dive into this vanilla vodka again, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my inner corner highlight. I was just like backwards, like why are we doing this first? Girl, because I because I said so. I'm just like in love with this shade. Like, what even is this? What is this? Like, why does it look like that? But it looks white. Like, here it looks so golden. It's like, why did it change it like that? That is amazing so enough of that i'm gonna be like bathing in this stuff right now like i'm just gonna put it everywhere like i'm gonna be gold for the day so let's go ahead and move on i do want to use this orange so i'm going to do rich in the middle and then orange on the sides on one eye so let's do that on on this side i'm gonna put rich here because we all are, I am a rich beach. So, I don't know what this accent is, but I need to cut it out. So rich is so pretty. It's all the shimmers, they always swatch so good. I'm in love with glam white shimmers. Now these matte, we need to have a chat about, but these shimmers are just so good. So now we're going into half, wait, that's not what we said. Now we're going into Living Lavish because we're rich and living lavish on this eye. We're getting rich and we're living lavish on this eye.
Okay, so to me, this side is looking really good. I just need to add some liner and lashes to this side to complete this look, but this looks really, really good to me. I love the way that the shimmers blend, how we got the orange and the dark chocolate to blend together. It looks really, really good. So before I add liner and lashes, I'm gonna go ahead and do this side so we can just put the lashes on all together. So on this side, I want to use the color Extra Lit and I also wanna use Happy Hour just to make it kinda of weird, a little funky on this side. I'm gonna go into Extra Lit first, which is this pink shimmer. I'm gonna put this in the middle on this side. The shimmer is very, very pretty. It's not as light and not as pink as I would like it to. It's more of like a, I hate to keep using the word mauve, but that's all I can think about. It's just like a mauve, like a nudish pink. Now I'm going in with Happy Hour, the bluish shimmer. Oh my gosh, how beautiful is she? Hello girl, welcome to the party. You are welcome. You are welcome to stay. Wow, that, that blue shimmer is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And this was such a good choice using the blue and the pink together. Wow, it just looks really, really good to me. I'm just like, yes, queen. This looks amazing. It looks so, so good. I'm in love with, I'm in love with all of the shimmers, y'all. Like all of the shimmers, they all are amazing. I love the way that these two shimmers blend together. This blend, I think that this eye is my favorite for sure. And I love the vanilla vodka, that sneaky one that turns gold whenever you use it. I'm just in awe. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this look with liner and lashes and we will talk about the final thoughts. Okay guys, so to the final thoughts, what I think about this palette. So. Out of all of them, I feel like the mattes on this one, they were just like not, not giving me life. Like they are, which I guess I should have known. It's a brown palette. Like they're very basic. They don't like pop. Um, there's nothing, nothing to write home about on the palettes. I would have to say that this is the first palette where I'm like, I have an issue other than fallout with something, but the shimmers are to die for. So. Per usual, the shimmers are saving the day with the palette. I would definitely pick this one up for the shimmers, for sure. Especially this one, this tricky one, this sneaky little peak that looks white and it turns gold. And then even these, like all the shimmers that we use are completely beautiful, like just absolute gems of the palette. So I would definitely say, going off of that alone, this is definitely a must have. So again, you guys know that this palette is being, the Dirty Martini palette is, up for grabs in the giveaway and your final bonus entry is just to simply down below let me know which palette out of the series was your favorite just comment down below which palette is your favorite and that is it for your last bonus entry for the giveaway for the dirty martini glam light happy hour palette if you have not already make sure that you subscribe to my channel like this video and you will see my face in the next one